Hi everyone, today we're going to be working on some simple combinations using tree diagrams and organized lists. Okay, so here's a quick problem we can do. Taylor is wrapping a gift. She must use only one type of wrapping paper and only one type of bow. Use a tree diagram or an organized list to, to show all the possible ways she could wrap the gift. Now notice they want us to actually show the ways she could wrap it, not just tell them, not just um, say how many different choices that she has. So let's take a look here. Um, she has three, rib, three types of paper, plain, striped, and dotted. She has a simple bow, a curly ribbon, and a round bow. So we're going to start with the plain, and we would just list for a tree diagram, which is what I'm going to do first. I would write plain. And if I choose the simple bow, uh, I would just write simple, or I'm just going to put an S there. And then I could also, or instead, I could choose a curly ribbon. So the blue wrapper with a uh, blue wrapping paper with that curly ribbon. Or I could choose the round bow. All right, so that's what I did there. Now, I'm going to use a, a different color pen here so you can follow this. Now, the same thing can happen if I choose striped. I could go striped with simple, striped with curly, or striped with round. So over here I'm going to just write my striped, and this is, whoops, striped, and this is my tree. Striped with simple, striped with curly, and striped with round. And this is working out fine since the letters, there's no duplicates in my letters here. Not, no two bows start with the same letter. Okay, then I'm going to go to my dotted. And for my dotted, let's go with purple. So my dotted, I could do the simple bow, I could do the curly ribbon, or I could do the round bow. Now, if I, or what I was going to say is that you don't have to do these lines right in here. That can get kind of messy. But you just, I just did that so that you could follow what I was doing. And now I'm done. So let's see how many choices I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And to double check it, we can do um, the multiplication principle where we go, um, I don't have any room left on here, but we could go three types of wrap times three ribbons, three types of ribbon, equals nine. So we come up with the multiplication principle of it. it would be nine types, and we did get nine. And we have them all listed here. So that is our tree diagram. Next, I will do the um, organized list. All right, now we're going to move on to the organized list. And we've done this a lot in class, so I know you guys know how to do it. Um, but you can do it using... Uh, either listing everything using a comma between the two choices on each line, or you can make a table and do it that way, whichever is easier for you. Go ahead and give it a try, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what I came up with, and I'm actually going to make a table so it's a little bit neater. All right, so um, good luck, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, this is what I came up with. Now, I accidentally typed it in wrong, but um, this should say plain, but I wrote solid. Um, so I have my solid with my simple, and I have my solid with curly, solid with round, the round bow. Okay, so that's my three choices that I had for the solid paper, and then I have this three choices with the striped paper, and I have three choices with the dotted or polka dot paper. So either way, that should end up with nine choices, and you can do the multiplication principle to go with it by saying three um, paper choices times three ribbon choices gives us nine choices. And that is exactly what we got. So we double-checked our work. Um, I don't have any duplicates here, and that'd be it. That is combinations in a nutshell. Good job.